Hi, in this video, we're going to look into embedding lead gen forms into WordPress websites. And in this example, we're going to do it with the Divi page builder, which you see uh, opened right here. So this is um, the view inside WordPress. So we logged into the page builder and we're using the Divi theme, which is one of the more common themes to build sites in WordPress. And we want to make our form part of this landing page here for booking and consultation. And the form we're going to use is this one right here, book a consultation. We're going to do some adjustments later on in terms of colors, in terms of size and height. But yeah, let's go with this standard form example and let's see how it looks on the live page. So let's just jump right in. So firstly, I want to give you some understanding of this Divi theme builder here. So you have these three different types of um, elements. The blue one is the whole section. Um, yeah, this could they call it section here. The green one is your row and then you have elements within the row. You have modules within the row and then you can insert any kind of module to make part of your site and to make to include the legion form you would have to type for you have to type code to include a code snippet. So and then using this module type we can embed our legion form. So go, let's go back to the Legion Builder. You go to the form section first and then you're going to open up the form you want to embed. Click on it. This one here, consulting form, which is this one I've shown you. And open up the page variant to access the builder. Then go to share. And then here you see the form embed codes. You can either go with the direct embed or the iframe code. The iframe code has a, has a bit more customization with height and width. So we're going to go with this one. So copy the whole code snippet. And then let's go here on code module and then simply paste it in here. So this depends on the builder, what the um, snippet or the module type is called. In this case, it was just called code. Sometimes it's called custom HTML, raw HTML um, and so on. It could have different names, but you need to have the, the option to add HTML snippets basically. So let's see how this looks. We're going to save it without making any edits. So what you're going to see right now is here the form with this load bar. It doesn't show you the form as it would look actively. This is because we're inside the builder. So this might sometimes happen, um, but it doesn't affect the looks on your front end at all. So let's just save this and see how it looks on the site itself. So this is how it loads up right now. Obviously this is not optimized yet and we need to make some adjustments. So as you see, the form doesn't fully fit this page and we have to obviously optimize it for this page that it really gives a nice impression. So the issue here is that the form is too long, it has a too long height. So what options do we have? We can either adjust the page or adjust the form. In this case, I would go with making some changes to the form first, because even if we make this fit here, it doesn't fully suit our page style. So I would say you can decrease this text size, make it one row only, and maybe get rid of this text because you already have it here. That would be a simple fix for this and which would be much more suitable to this type of page. So let's do this inside lead gen. We're going to go back to the builder. We're going to remove this description text, reduce the height of this text box, and make this a one row only by you going with, let's say, heading five size. Save it. And now all the changes you do right here are applied directly on the live page. So let's refresh. And here you see it looks very different and much better already. Still not fully optimized. I'm going to be going to come to the few things you can still improve. We're going to move it a little bit higher because right now it's a bit too too far down. I would move it a little bit higher and I would move it a little bit to the right. You can do that in here. Just simply move the, the position of the box a little bit. So let's see if this does anything. And you see it has moved a little bit because of these changes. So this is how you can adjust it inside the Divi Builder. Simply, you know, use the editor to shift it up and down or left or right now yeah let's move it up a little bit it's still too far down same thing here you're gonna click on this module and then pull it a little bit up like this i would say 
and there you see i think this suits it much better so this already could be something which is presentable but now the thing here is the colors are not aligned so let's say you have just used the legion form template and you have colors which are different to your brand we have another video fully for designing the form and changing colors i just want to give you an idea here on one thing you can do that really has a big effect on embedding forms which is having a transparent background color so that you would have no background and no shadow here at all no outline so to do that let's go back to the builder go to design and then here in ui elements form you have background color instead of going with the black we're gonna keep the black setting but we're gonna move it into transparent make it fully transparent we're gonna get rid of the form shadow save it and now let's see and you see the massive difference right now so you have no more background color it looks like it would be part of your page content um, still obviously the colors are not perfectly matched so I would change this to something like you know red or purple or you know a secondary color like like yellow but yeah this form now is perfectly fit into this page you can also try it in here what's your company name see how the other steps load and then yeah submit the form try it out and do all the remaining bits of setting up your form like enabling lead notifications and so on but yeah this is how to put it on your site using the divi builder there's other builders as well that we're going to look into so if you're using a different system different page builder have a look at the videos lined up here um, besides the video and I'll see you in one of the next ones. Take care.